What conflicts will drive the plot? Who will the characters be? Against what backdrop will the story develop? These are some of the questions a writer considers when crafting a story. Hi, and welcome back! In today's literature episode, I'm going to talk about narrative devices. Narrative devices Choices about the narrator Point of view refers to the vantage point from which a story is told. Point of view is created by a writer's choice of narrator, the voice that tells the story. This choice affects whether the narrator is a character in the story or an outside observer. It also influences your opinion of the characters and how much you learn about them. Let's review some of the point of view narrators. The first one is the first person. Is a main or minor character in the story. Refers to himself or herself as I or me. Presents his or her own thoughts, feelings and interpretations. Lacks direct access to the thoughts of other characters. Strategies for analysis. Consider the source. You may feel connected to a first-person narrator because he or she seems to be talking directly to you. However, don't trust everything the narrator tells you. Ask, is the narrator trustworthy or unreliable? How might the narrator's opinions of other characters affect what he or she says about them? Third Person Limited Is not a character in the story, but an outside observer zooms in on the thoughts and feelings of one character, usually the protagonist. Understanding the limitations. Because you learn only one character's thought, you don't get the big picture. Ask, how might the character's thoughts affect readers' impression of characters and events? What more would an omniscient narrator be able to convey? Third-person omniscient. Is not a character in the story, but an outside observer. Is all-knowing. He or she has access to the thoughts and feelings of all characters. Take advantage of the insight. When an omniscient narrator tells a story, you become all-knowing too. Ask, how do different characters react to the same event? How do the characters perceive each other? Choices about time. In addition to making choices about point of view, writers make choices about how time is going to unfold in a story. Most writers choose to tell a story in chronological order. Sometimes, though, a writer will use techniques such as flashback or foreshadowing to create a specific effect. If you've ever watched a horror movie, you know about foreshadowing, or the use of hints to build suspense about what will happen next. Those hints might be shots of foreboding settings or statements like I'll be right back. Sure signs of lurking danger. Writers also use foreshadowing to create edge of your seat effects. As you read any story, look for similar hints, repeated details or characters who make important statements or behave in unusual ways. What clues in this familiar movie scenario hint a disastrous plane crash? Or in other words, how do you know the plane is going to crash before it happens? Look at this scene. Flashes of lightning signal and approaching storm. So in that moment you realize something is wrong or something is about to happen. Next scene. A passenger reassures others. There is nothing to worry about. Next, a scene. The pilot loses control of the aircraft and this creates a great moment of suspense. And finally, what you just predict happened. The aircraft crashes on a remote island. A flashback is another device frequently used in movies. 
In literature, a flashback is an account of an event or a conversation that happened before the beginning of the story. It interrupts the chronological order of events to reveal information that can help readers understand the character or the current situation. To spot a flashback, look for phrases that signal a shift in time, such as He remembered that day, or As a young child, how does this flashback help you to understand the character's emotion? Let's go back to that movie scene. Here we have the remnants of the crash remain on the beach. One survivor's thoughts turn toward home, so he started thinking about the past. He remembers time spent with his family years earlier. Jolt to the present, he realized he may never see his family again. And now, you're feeling as sad as this character. I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching and until the next one, bye!